Hi everyone, so in this video, I am going to share my gate exam story. So what actually happened on the day of the examination? How did I attempt the question paper? What did I do when I found the question paper tough? So all that thing I am going to share now. So if you have a bandwidth of 4 to 5 minutes, then you can watch this video. Otherwise, you can skip it. So most of you already know that I wrote my gate examination in EC branch in 2022. So I wrote the instrumentation examination as well, but I will share the story of EC examination because that was my major question paper. That was my main examination. So I went to the examination hall and the exam started at 9.30 am in the morning. So I was actually confident in four to five of the subjects of my stream. Very confident I was. I was confident in other subjects as well, but in four to five subjects, I was very much confident that I will attempt 100% of the questions. Those subjects were network analysis, analog electronics, control systems, communication systems and EMFT. So my exam started with the questions of communication systems. And if you guys know, in 2022, communication system was very, very tough. So initially, three to four questions were of communication systems only. And I started attempting it. And trust me, I was not able to solve a single question from them. So in 25 minutes, it was the scene that uh, I have solved only two questions and skipped five. I had only six, uh, I had only seen seven questions. Out of those, I have solved only two, which I am also not sure if they are correct or not. And I have skipped five. And those questions are from communication system only. So at that time, I started panicking. Like uh, I am not even able to solve communication system, which is one of my favorite subjects, which is one of my strongest subjects. So what is going to happen? But I did not panic much because when I saw the question, I could know that even a topper is not going to solve those questions. So I was still in the right state of mind. I knew that even if I have scored only two questions, even if I have solved only two questions in 25 minutes, I still can do a lot of better things in the examination. So when you go to the examination hall, if you find the question paper tough, just believe it, the question paper is going to be tough for everyone because you have written the test series. If the question paper is tough, even the topper scores very less marks right so don't be don't panic at that moment because a lot of guys will start panicking at that moment they will think that question paper is tough or i'm not able to solve anything and they will start panicking and they will just click on random options and they will just mess it up they, they will just mess up their examination so when you go to the examination or when you see the question paper you at that time only you can change your strategy that if the question paper is tough i just need to score that much of minimum marks that I just need to score 55 to 60 marks or 60 to 70 marks for the desirable rank that I, I want to get. So I need, I wanted to get, I always wanted to get a rank under 50. So when I saw those first seven questions, I go to, I realized that even if I get 60 marks, uh, I would get a rank under 50. Then I, what I, what I used to do. So I encountered the same thing in the test series as well, that I'm not able to solve initial few questions. So what I used to do, it was my strategy that I used to jump on a random question. Let's assume I am solving first seven question and I am not able to solve a single question from them. So I would directly jump to a random question, random question out of nowhere. So let's assume I, can, I click on 22, uh, 22nd question and I, and I will start solving the question paper from there. And then I would come back to other questions. So I did the same thing. I jumped to a random question. It was. I don't remember the question number. It was 23 or 24th question. I jumped to that question. The question was on network theory and believe me, I was not able to solve that question at that time. The question was on Thevenin theorem and I was not able to solve that question. And at that time, I panicked the most that I am not even able to solve network analysis now. So just I mustered up the courage. I took a pause of 30 seconds. I mustered up the courage that I can still do a lot of better things. I moved to the next question and from there I started solving. I solved control system, signal systems. Uh, there was a very less question from EMFT. So EMFT was not a deciding factor. So I solved communication, signals and system, digital electronics, analog electronics, all those questions I solved. And my, when I saw the questions of analog electronics, I, I could realize that not a lot of students would be able to solve those questions, but I was able to solve the, those questions there. So I was confident that I am solving at least those questions which will not be solved by a lot of students. So that I did and then when I moved back to those previous questions which I couldn't solve at the first glance, I managed to solve around two to three questions from those initial seven to eight questions which I was not able to solve. So that's how I attempted my examination and uh, I did not need to recheck my examination because I had the strategy that I would 
when i attempt a question i would recheck that question at that time only so that i can move to the next question very confidently so this was my strategy you don't need to copy it whatever the strategy that you have made based on your test series performance you should implement that thing only don't try to do anything new the situation that you are going to encounter in the main examination if you have written enough test series there is high chances that you have encountered the same situation in the test series as well so what you did in that test series you have to implement the same thing in the main examination and trust me you are going to get a lot better rank than what you have expected a lot better rank than your competitors so this is what you need to do just implement your test series performance just be calm there can be situations where you feel like you you will not be able to do it but just be calm because the gate examination is of three hours not of one or two hours it is of three hours you may mess up your first hour you may mess up your first hours and few minutes but you will be not messing up your complete three hours if you have enough confidence even if you have messed up your initial some minutes even if you have messed up your initial 60 to 70 minutes still you are having 110 minutes with you and you can do a lot better than what you think so just be confident that i can solve the problems even if it sound difficult to me even if it is easy or whatever the problem they are giving if i have the confidence if i have the enough aptitude if i have practiced enough i would be able to solve and i would be able to get a very decent rank or the rank that i desired based on my preparation yeah just be confident enough and whatever the query that you are having you can write down that query in the comment section i will try to reply thank you